Hey, Riddle here. Welcome to my channel or welcome back. If you're a subscriber, I appreciate it. Today's topic is getting rid of scale and mealybug on your plants. As you know, mealybug and scale are some of the few insects that attack staghorn ferns specifically. I have a pretty extensive collection of different types of epiphytic ferns. And uh, the climate I live in, I have to keep the plants inside for the majority of the year. This staghorn is kind of unique because usually they grow hanging out of a board. But my realtor was inspired by my collection of staghorn ferns and decided to buy herself one. And it was in poor health, so she surrendered it to me. And now it's become quite a specimen. So... The other day I noticed it's the middle of winter and there are ants in my bathroom. And that doesn't add up because there's no reason that the ants should be in the house this time of year. So whenever you see ants on your plants, look for bugs. Ants are geniuses. They're very high intelligence, they're very organized, and they actually farm. They farm fungi and they farm insects. They farm insects like uh, they herd, uh, like we herd cattle. So what they do is they will carry scale and mealybug and aphids onto your plants and keep them alive and defend them and then secrete different things from the insects while keeping them alive, just like we do with livestock. So yesterday, when I looked closer at the curling leaves on my staghorn fern, because that's where they hide. See how this leaf is curling over right here on the edge? When I opened it up, lo and behold, not only did I find a ton of scale hiding in there, but a colony of, of ants. And that's a big problem. You can see there, maybe there's one right there still. So the first thing you do is you, the first thing you do is you take your plant and some light soapy water and wash off as many of the mealybug or scale as you can in the shower. Gently rubbing the soap on the leaves and then rinsing, rinse and repeat, soap, rinse, repeat until you get as much of the visual scale. And the scale looks like little brown bumps. They're, un, they're, they're almost like warts. And they, are, they, they, they grow in different phases. Uh, right now, the ones on hair you can't even see because they're the early stages, so they're, they're not very visual. Oh, look, there's an ant. So, and then they, they're as pronounced as literally like a big brown bump. And the, the tricky thing about dealing with scale specifically is that because of their hard shell, their, the insecticides don't penetrate it, so you can't kill it with a topical insecticide. And I'm going to get to how you kill scale on orchids too. It had spread from this plant to this orchid because of those ants. So I rinsed this and cleaned this orchid as best I could, getting all the topical scale off. The same with the staghorn fern. And then you have to buy systemic granules or any systemic insecticide. Now what is systemic insecticide does is it works from inside the plant instead of outside the plant. So after the plant has taken the insecticide into its root system, the insects that are feeding on it will die. I found this to be the only thing that works for staghorn ferns and orchids in regards to getting rid of scale and mealybug. As for the ants, one of two things happen. Either the ants will eat the mealybug, which will kill the ants, but I find that this is amazing and it's non-toxic. This Amdro, I apply around my house in the springtime after the rains are done. And it is a, a really great no toxin, low toxin ant manager. So this is in granules and they will take the granules and they take them back to the nest feed them to the queen, the babies, and the whole nest is wiped out. So there's no longer a carrier for the insects. 
So that's what I've done right now. I spread my granules along the windowsill here, and of course, directly into the pot. As you may or may not know, ants have a symbiotic relationship, often with staghorn ferns, where they will create a nest inside the root mass, where they're very happy. And I'm guessing that I have an insect colony inside of this root mass, and there's no way of repotting it because of the way that a staghorn fern grows so what I've done is I've spread my granules around to kill the ants, which will happen literally in about 48 hours. And then I have my systemic granules going strong to, for the plant to absorb to kill the scale and the muley buck. And that's about it. There is no real organic way of tackling this problem unless you really, I guess, if you washed and washed and washed and washed and washed, but the problem is there are little mealy bugs and little eggs hiding in all the little crevices. For instance, under the shield hood here, there are probably a ton of mealy bugs hiding under there, but there's no way of me getting to those without really doing damage to my plant. And the same with the orchid. They're probably in the crevices of the orchid or down into that soil. And there's no way of getting into that without doing damage to that. So this is one time that I do not go organic. And partially because I'm not eating these. But also because it's the only thing that works. And that pretty much covers it. And I know this is a big topic for specifically um, staghorn and orchid growers. Because these insects do notoriously attack the plants in the greenhouse and inside the house yearly. And I find myself having to do basically a yearly treatment, but I do wait for the insect to show up versus my usual preemptive strike out in the garden. So that's it. I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions, please put them in the comment box. I would love to hear them. If you like my quick money-saving tips, garden wisdom, rants, raves, and casual magic, please subscribe, it helps. I want you to take care of yourselves and please take care of each other because I believe how we treat each other on the streets is our ultimate reality. So let's treat each other with kindness and respect. Take care and happy holidays.